So are you ready to add some royal flair to your flower game? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a textured purple bearded iris. Fit for a queen. However, maybe it's more fit for a king because it's like a bearded iris, sort of, I don't know. So grab some modeling paste, some silver leaf, and some purple paint, let's get started. Just make sure not to confuse it with like a purple textured onion because that would be kind of messy and probably not so pretty. Anyway, my name is Vinnie Romine, welcome to my channel. Meet me down on the canvas and let's sketch out an iris and I don't know, let's have some fun. Okay, so I've got the silver leaf and I'm thinking about how I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna use my typical glue to apply the silver leaf. I'm gonna put it all around the canvas and then attach the silver leaf to it. I'm not gonna go on top of the flower though. I've wasted lots of silver leaf or gold leaf before by you know burying it under the texture of a flower and I'm not gonna do that again today. So this is me attempting to apply <laughs> silver leaf. This shit is annoying. It's very sticky and yeah, it's hard to lay down. I'm still trying to master how to do this properly, but hey, you know, we'll get there eventually, I'm sure, hopefully. I don't, <laughs> maybe never. And then I'm gonna put the paste, the glue actually, it dries transparent on top, just to kind of hold it in place to make sure and kind of act as a binder. So when I start to put the paint on top, it's got something to kind of stick to. I don't know if that's really necessary to be honest with you, but that's kind of what I do anyway. This is a fine modeling paste that I'm actually applying here. I've actually never tried to do this before. This is my very first time, so bear with me as I kind of garner the skills of loading the palette knife and then sort of manipulating it on the canvas to form like the outside of the petals. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. So I don't feel overly qualified to explain exactly how to do this properly. I'm kind of, you know, flying by the seat of my pants, learning as I go here and sharing with you. I, and I guess the whole point of sharing this is to give you the power um, and permission to kind of experiment on your own because I've never done this before and you know, maybe you haven't either and it's okay. You know what? You're gonna learn by doing. No matter how much you watch this or how many times, it won't matter until you actually get out that palette knife and try with that modeling paste, you're never gonna master a skill. So this is me attempting to master or at least learn a new skill. And now on some of the bare spots, I'm going to add some texture paste wall spackle stuff. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One, the catalyst wedge is going to, you know, it kind of catch on the texture and leave some of the uh, silver leaf exposed. But also I want to create like a lot of depth and dimension and, you know, in the outside of the iris. So yeah, it's kind of what I plan to do anyway.
So basically all I'm doing is I'm adding the gray, which is mixed with my uh, pouring medium. And I'm also using just a, a water wash to kind of make it even more liquidy um, to kind of spread that paint around. And if you notice, that's the one mixed with pouring medium. The titanium white is just straight up titanium white because I want that to be able to be like thicker and more opaque in the areas that I want to add it. And then I just keep blending layer upon layer. I'm sure you've seen me do this in previous videos. If not, there's one up top that you can watch and see how I do this on, you know, using different color palettes. And then of course, taking off the paint is just as important as adding it. I just want to quickly run through the color palette. So first off, we're going to use uh, this Lucas Krill. I've actually never used this stuff before. And it's called Cob Cobalt Violet. And then we are going to use Prism Pour Wild Orchid. It's going to add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of bling. Um, I'm also going to mix the Dioxazine Violet Vivid Intense. Mixing them with a little bit of Titanium White, you know, up and down to get different values of the color. So for the beard of the iris, I'm going to be using uh, yellow ochre and Naples yellow deep. Um, I might use some Naples yellow light, we'll see. And finally, over the top of the entire flower, once it's done, I'm going to be using French silk by Prism Pour. Reason for that is I wanna add like almost like a glaze to the top of the flower. So it looks very different from the background. Now in the video uh, footage, as I, went back through it to get to editing. Um, it doesn't show up as nicely, but I will try to capture it as best I can on the final result of the flower. Anyway, so let's get back to business.
Hey, and if you happen to like my content, please feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you know when I post a new video.